frankly, could be the last hurrah for sanctions because I think it could drive uh, and accelerate work by China and Russia to develop CBDCs to use it in their uh, foreign uh, relations in the case of China, in the case of their Belt and Road Initiative, and to really move uh, portions of the globe off the dollar-based Western Bank-dominated uh, account-based system that we have today. And so uh, CBDC is absolutely an effort by many non-aligned countries uh, to, to move away from the sanctioned power that exists in our current Western Bank-dominated you know, SWIFT-based messaging system, account-based banking system. So there's no question. Um, it, it's, a, it's a point that uh, Daniel Gorfine and I made a year, two and a half years ago in our Wall Street op-ed saying if the U.S. could send, the dollar, send a man to the moon, we could put the dollar into cyberspace, advocating for the U.S. to accelerate its development, its exploration of central bank digital currency. You know, for China, it's not just about developing its own ECNY. It's also about dominating the underlying CBDC technology in the same way they've done with 5G technology. So they can be a major exporter of CBDC infrastructure to countries around the world that desire to have their own central bank digital currency, but don't have the wherewithal to build the core technology from scratch. And so we'll import Chinese based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. Panel that I think central bank digital currencies were concocted in hell by Satan himself. Uh, they are incredible control by governments over everybody's bank account, and they are the uh, they're going to create a void of privacy for every individual citizen. I think they're horrible, but I think that's where they want to go give a type of money that can only be spent for a specific number of reasons. And some worry about that state control or whatever, but like in this particular uh, narrow use case, you want to give uh, checks to individuals to get the economy moving again. Yeah. So if you think of programmable money that expires if you don't spend it. Yeah. We're going to a different economy and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but Clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order Book. The New Road Order book is going to show you how the world really works. And it's definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. I told you at the beginning of the year, in the first quarter of 2022, we was going to have an event that was going to bring us down. And then also in the fourth quarter, we would have an event that would bring us down. That's exactly what happened. And now I'm going to tell you, in the first quarter, we're going to have an event that's going to break us down in 2023. And then also in the fourth quarter of 2023, we're going to have another main event.
Now, of course, guys, the markets are still going to be pumping and dumping until they get ready to pull the full rug. But I'll let you know when that's about to happen. Now, also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to get re-educated. And also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop and Patreon. And in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. Also, I give you the New World Order cryptos in the Patreon. Of course, you have to do your own research. But this next bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure that you have the cryptos that have utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now we have Bitcoin, cryptos, and stocks flat. And all you have to do is look at the actual indicators. And we'll get into that. But will Bitcoin hit 14,000? In my opinion, I definitely see Bitcoin hitting at 14K. I'm not your financial advice, not financial advice. Please do your own research. But as long as the Fed is going to be raising rates and running off this balance sheet, it is definitely going to hit stocks and cryptos. But we know regulation is coming soon, and we know they're going to be flipping that switch soon. Now, this article states, can we have an AI altcoin pump? No, we cannot. Guys, you have to have liquidity in order to make that happen. Yes, you're going to have some cryptos that pump and dump throughout the year based off the news. But remember, guys, we're going off the Fed. If we stay with the Fed, we know which way the market is going. Now, getting over into the actual indicators, guys, we have yield rates, which we see they're moving up. That's the reason why stocks and cryptos are flat. Also, the dollar is moving up. We have volume, which we can see is slightly up. We have Tether, USDC. And then, of course, we have the Fed. Repo still at around $2.2 trillion. We know the central banks are raising rates, running off the balance sheet, which is going to hurt the economy. And remember, the central banks are moving in lockstep to destroy this legacy market. So then, therefore, we can move to blockchain and tokenization. Now, we have Russia to begin work on CBDC settlement system in Q1. And don't forget, guys, I did a video on this showing that they was getting prepared back in 2014. And we know the NWO 10 years is a manifestation period when they bring things live. The BRICS nations and the emerging markets are already ready for the fourth industrial revolution. They already have the robots, algorithms, and drones set up. They already have the facial recognition. Everything is cashless. But here in America, guys, we know they need that great distraction in order to move in this fourth industrial revolution in the United States. A lot that's going on in the emerging markets in the U.S., people will not participate. But if they come in with that crisis, everything changes. Guys, we've already seen the tests. Now, don't forget about Grayscale sitting at about $14.5 billion. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have Coinbase to cut another 20% of workforce in the second wave of layoffs. And we know why we're constantly hearing about layoffs when it comes to these tech sectors. But remember, guys, these tech companies already don't have a lot of employees, not the way companies used to be set up. And I've done several topics on this discussion. Guys, you have Coinbase that probably has about 3,700 employees, but its market cap is $10 billion. They can afford to keep those people employed. Now we have Mark Cuban of Face Questions under oath over promotion of Voyager. And guys, we're going to get our popcorn, sit back, and let this play out because there's a lot of missing money when it comes to these companies and exchanges going bankrupt. Now we have Manta Network conducts record-breaking trusted setup with over 4,000 people in the ceremony, utilizing zero-knowledge proof. Of course, guys, privacy, being able to make private payments between individuals. Now we have Nigeria to create the stablecoin and ICO legal framework. And remember, guys, it doesn't matter what country you go to, they all have a plan for this digital transformation. This whole globe is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain if the masses don't wake up. 
Now we have Layer 1 EVM Oracle Platform Flare launches to boost interoperable DApps. And guys, we know how important interoperability is. And lastly, we have the Treasury Official in the UK is fully behind stable coins for wholesale settlement. And guys, we know they are. Because stable coins and CBDCs are going to give them even more power than they have. Remember, stable coins and CBDCs are illegal in the United States and in Europe. But we know they're going to slowly push in legislation if the masses don't wake up. And then they'll be able to control what, when, when, and how you buy. And you have three to six months to spend them or poof, it's gone. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows. When it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel, guys, brand new video yesterday on the Stock Channel. Make sure you go check it out. Like, subscribe, spread the video everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chips out, your banking, your gaming, why everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the zero, the biotech stocks, and why everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. COVID-33, Part 3, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.